What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here on the O'Shea Duke Jackson channel, man. Welcome back. You know what I'm saying? We got the late night live stream tonight. I wasn't even going to live stream, but I asked my brother, man, a few days ago, would he come on? And, um, you know what I'm saying? I was supposed to get with him and build on this. But we do want to show, man, because obviously this is the Andrew 26101 show. Many of you brothers know him. He's been YouTuber for a minute. Um, he, his, some of his best content was the travel content. And uh, we kind of want to know, man, will traveling brothers become beta males because of the coronavirus? Since brothers can't go to Brazil and DR and all this. But I'm going to go ahead and let him introduce himself. What's up, Andrew? What's going on, O'Shea? Thank you for having me on the show. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? All right, go ahead and tell them, man, what your channel's about, you know what I'm saying, and all of that, brother. Well, I mean, before I used to do, a, a, I had a channel dealing with traveling and stuff like that. I still do a little traveling here and there. But now, basically, um, you know, I kind of take some current events and try to, you know, I make it to like a comedy humor out of it, you know. But I also tell a little bit of truth and some stuff that I'm saying as well. So I kind of act, I kind of mix a little bit of the comedy and also the truth depending on the, the subject and matter. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. All right. So, so good. So guys, uh, shout out to like the notification is not working right now, but shout out to Maddie ghost, Dane, everybody in the building. Um, so let me talk about this brother. Um, I know so, that you, you've been all over the world. Go ahead and tell them about the countries you've been to. Um, uh, countries I've been to, I've been to, I don't know if Canada, is, well, I mean, I, yeah, that's a country, but, you know, it's right next door. I've been to Canada. I've been to Costa Rica. I've been to mm -hmm. Malta off the Mediterranean Sea. Um, I've been to Puerto Rico. I've been to Dominican Republic. I've been to Trinidad. I've been to uh, uh, Carnadia. Um, shit. I've been to England. Uh, I've been to Paris. I've been to uh, an island called Tenerife. You know, I've been to some places that a lot of people don't, like Tenerife is like an island off the coast of Italy. You see, I like, I, I did some research before I went out there, but I like right. going to places where a lot of people don't really know about because it, 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 it's just a thirst that you have as a traveler to like right. want to see different things. You know, you feel like you conquered things when you go somewhere different and you have a story to tell when you come back. So people right. are like, oh, really? That's that's how it is? It, do they got black people there? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you got like my black peers and shit, right? They'll come up to me. They're like, yo, yo, aren't you scared to go out there? Like, do they got, they got black people out there? Like, I heard there's cannibals and shit. I'm like, come on, man. Right. Who told you there's cannibals out there? Ain't nobody, ain't nobody trying to eat nobody out there, man. Come on. But, um, exactly. yeah, but you know, those are just one of the few. Oh, I've been to Singapore too. I forgot about Singapore. That's all the way. Singapore. Asian, yeah. Asian colonies and shit. But, um, okay. Okay. <laughs> now, I mean, obviously, um, the way I started watching your content was because, you was posting a lot of stuff in the DR, man. What what made you start going to the DR? Um, you know what? I heard a lot of things about DR. You know what I mean? And I heard what really got me wanted to go there was because I met a Spanish dude, and he was cool as fuck, and he was out here in New York. And he said to me, yo, you ever tried out a Dominican chick? You ever been to Dominican Republic? I was like, nah. And he was telling me all about it. He's like, yo, you should check it out. They got fly looking shorties out there. I'm like, for real? This was when I was living in New York. So I was like, right, you know, I'll, I'll put it on the bucket list. But at the time I was going to Europe. So I was like traveling out there and seeing other things, you know, like just seeing other cultures and just interacting mm -hmm. with other things out there, trying foods and all that other stuff. And, you know, seeing monuments and also obviously women. But, right. um... Obviously, of course. But, um, you know, from that time, I just kind of like um, Dominican Republic. I looked at the, you know, the distance on how far it was from the U.S. It's like three and a half hours of a flight. So he looked dusty. OK, <laughs> that's cool. But anyways, um, I took a flight from DR. I mean, from New York to DR. So at that time. I just wanted to check it out, you know, because I've heard some good things about it. And then when I went there, it wasn't really as all cracked up as I thought it would be because I heard a lot of things like, right. you know, you know, certain things like you'll get robbed out there. Right. If, if you uh, 
I guess if you don't know who you're dealing with, or if you if you just go out there wearing jewelry and all that other stuff. Well, I didn't wear jewelry right. out there, so I just walked out there right. regularly. I was being myself. I was being polite. I say, how you doing? I said hi to the locals. Everybody was cool. Everybody was chilling. So I actually had a great time. I mean, I went to monuments. I went to certain places. Uh, they got casinos like anywhere else in the United States. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. I mean, it was pretty dope. All right. All right. Let me let me ask you this, though, um, because <clears throat> a lot of the I would say like when I got, got hooked up on your channel, Charles Tyler, people like that. You was like pretty much showing like how the benefit, like one of your best videos has like 300,000 videos, like, you know, how the women in Dominican Republic treat brothers and you know what I'm saying? Like, do they like, like you're going into really great detail. Um, how, how was it like when you were seeing the women out there in comparison to women in America? I mean, um, they were a lot more friendly huh? because they automatic, you know, that presence that I get when I walked into like they call it a disco, which is like a nightclub, right? So when I walked in there, I just kind of felt like I was on a meat market. I ain't gonna lie to you, like I was like something <laughs> on sale, like you know, like they just saw a rare piece of steak that was like six dollars and twenty five cents, you know, and usually in their country they get it for eighty four dollars. So they're like, oh shit, I gotta grab this motherfucker. So that's what I felt like, and that's just being honest, but. It was for the other reasons. You know what I mean? It wasn't just for the culture experience of knowing, oh, he's an American man. Oh, I could tell he's an American man. But obviously, it was for the money, bro. Okay. So, with that being said, right, a lot of brothers go to the DR and, you know, you've been all over. You've documented yours, uh, you know, the travel. What do you call it? The Travel Boys? Video? What is it? Well, I just name it that. It's not a group. I just name right. it that. So it was, it was called the the Flyboys. Flyboys, so, right? Yeah, right, yeah. Right. I call it. It was a Flyboy series. So I had me and my homie Marty. So we started off doing the Flyboy series where we went to Dominican Republic first. You know what I'm saying? This is this is when I was single and I was just like out there having fun and shit like that. So I recorded myself. You know, we were out there. We recorded like places that we went, women that we talked to, and all that. You know what I mean? And we went on dates and stuff like that. So it, it was pretty dope. You know what I mean? So from there on out, then I did Costa Rica and I was just walking through the cities of Costa Rica, talking to people, just, right. you know, just having a good time and just laughing. Around. I just wanted to show people a different perspective. Like, listen, you can't be scared of what people tell you. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you shouldn't go there because of this or because right. of that. All you just got to do is just be your normal right. self. Just go out there, have a good time. And, you know, as long as you don't get in no stupid shit like you do over here in the United States, then you're good. <laughs> right 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 let me um shout out to columbia with anita i did a, uh, i don't know if you know that is um i've done a, a a live stream with her she's a if you probably saw her channel before you know who she is basically she you know has like the touring thing over columbia lady shout out to columbia uh i'll ask the question in a minute but let me ask you this man like a lot of brothers um and i would say you kind of inspired a lot of brothers to travel you know you phil cole on the remember, remember phil cole Phil Cole, Phil Cole. He sounds familiar, but I'm not too Phil sure. Phil Cole versus the world. He was a dude from New York, huh. but he moved to Russia. Charles Tyler. Guys like you, you guys gave a lot of game on the Latin countries. But what's happening is a lot of this, the black women and, and some niggas start saying like, well, you you travel niggas only get chicks in DR. Because like niggas were talking about how much better it was in Brazil, how much better it was in Colombia. You know, it's cheaper. The women look better. And so now people are like, well, shit, since coronavirus is here, you niggas can't go to the Philippines. You can't go to Brazil. You can't go to the DR. Now you niggas is back in the United States. And now you yeah. out here sick because you're going to be beta males again. Are you going to be, you ain't going to get no pussy. What would you say to somebody like that? Um, Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> Pornhub.com, baby. Bad bitches on there. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself some lotion. Good to go. <laughs> um, idiot. Listen, man. If you could get women over there, you could get women anywhere, man. Right. It doesn't matter. The videos that I put out wasn't necessarily about getting pussy. Okay. Basically, it was telling dudes, listen, if you're having some problems in dating and trying to right. see women... 
and you're just having a problem, here's a little alternative solution. I travel and I met women that I wanted, that I found physically attractive, right? that actually had some sort of common knowledge. And I could just actually sit down and have a talk. Not saying American women don't, because they do. But right. I'm just saying, I know how these, bro- I know what these brothers are going through. So they want a different perspective of life. They want to try something different. Why not? Women try things different all the time. Why can't guys? So I say, hey, travel. It worked out for me. I saw different types of women. I sat down. I had drinks. I had coffee. You know, had me a little, you know what I'm saying? And I was just <laughs> kicking it. <laughs> Basically, right. man, the, the people are so carefree, bro. It's not even just the women, though. It's just it's just dealing with people and on a, and a normal, regular day basis. Like, the energy was so good. And I just felt wanted to be in somewhere, you know? So mm-hmm. instead of sizing me up, Based on oh what what I see, I'm just gonna make my assumptions of who you are. I didn't feel that way when I was in a different country. I felt like I could freely be myself, mm-hmm. and shit, I had a good time. Basically, it. Let me let me ask you this, right? Because for the people that saying that or thinking like that, um, day I wanna I wanna say this, right? Um, you said what now? <laughs> I'm just looking at the comment, 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> I made some skits, uh, stories about that, man. I made some, uh, not stories, but I made some shows, like some comedy shit about the 90 Day Visa because a lot of the relationships that these people were going to, to me, it just sounded really scripted. And the reason why I laugh at it, because it's like 90% of it is kind of like speculation and wondering. When like 10% of it is like factual, you know what I'm saying? Because I've experienced it like as a person and I've been through, you know, quite a bit like what they're going through a little bit. But Mm -hmm. in a sense, I want to be shooting myself in the balls and just let me just meet somebody that I've never even known and just get a 90 day fiance visa. Like that shit doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? That's like swimming in the sharks, like swimming in the ocean with sharks. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? So I laugh about it because I think it's just funny. And then later on, they try to get to know these people. Like, shouldn't you get to know the person before you decided to take that leap? I'm just saying. Um, let me let me talk about this. Right. Because because of what we're faced with right now with the uh, with the coronavirus, Mm-hmm. A lot of brothers have noticed, like, because I, I even talked to somebody that's living in the DR right now. I mention the name. They was like, man, the chicks that typically sell the, you know what, like the prices for the low low right now. Like, if you live in Brazil or in the DR, like all that shit came down. Like, is is low, right? And even in the states, brothers is talking about what's up, Uncle Markel. Brothers is talking about like on Tinder. They're never, they're getting, they're never, they never had these many matches, bro. Like, like the matches are up 65% on Tinder. Like chicks is just matching like crazy. So it's almost like if you're a brother that do travel right now, like you probably got the advantage because you got more access to chicks than you ever have. Because, you know, women are not, women are not getting, are not able to like basically, you know, uh, get simps like they used to. They're not getting as much attention because they're not out as much. Mm. All the clubs are closed down. I the discos you. are closed. The bars are closed down. So really, the brothers who, and a lot of them not working right now, so they broke. But a lot of guys are still out there working because they in tag. You know, yo yo yo. I don't mean to cut. I don't mean to cut you off. But yo, shout out what? to Cam Triple A. How you doing, baby? <laughs> he says Andrew only Andrew doesn't want to go to Haiti. Stop <laughs> saying, stop <laughs> saying, my Jule. Shout out to oh, my Haitians out there. But go ahead, my man. Yeah. So, I mean, like, are you noticing that? I mean, were you at like a lot of chicks are starting to be a lot more friendly? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Yeah, man. Yeah, I get that. Well, while we're in this isolation period, right, you also got to think to yourself, right? Women are used to getting a lot of attention. So when you isolate, when you're isolating like social, like I guess social gatherings, Because women love to be in social gatherings and women love 
posting themselves on pitches on IG and all types of social media websites. So when you take away the panic, or I should say not take away, but when you take, yeah, okay. When you take away the attention off of like a woman that you normally would see and give a lot of thumbs up on IG or even Facebook or even want to approach. Right. When you got serious situations going on where mm -hmm. the world is in a frantic right now, the world is right. panicking because we got something serious going on. Mm -hmm. So obviously that attention gets taken off because people are in frantic. Right. You got dudes out here that don't even want to be near females right now. Right. Bad bitches be walking around the place and guess what? Dudes is like, they moving away. Yeah, do you got Corona? <laughs> you got Corona? Niggas is out right. here with steri niggas is out here with sterilizers and shit, like sp 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 spraying it on bitches. I'm like, damn, don't you supposed to spray the hands? You know what I mean? It's getting crazy right. out here. I went to go get my hair cut, right? My barber is even scared to come next to me. That nigga, like, oh, what you want? You want a fade? <laughs> <laughs> damn. Yeah, and like that shit crazy, man. I'm like, man, I'm scared to get a haircut. This nigga might put my edge all the way the fuck back to my scalp. I ain't trying right. to have that. So it's like people are in frantic, man. It's crazy out here. It really is. And you know what's crazy, right? The prices, like I know so many brothers right now. And I know, I mean, I'm not trying to be insensitive, to, but what I'm about to say is true. So many brothers is like, man, I'm buying all my tickets for this year, next year, right now, because they own the low. Like, like a lot of brothers is buying tickets right now. And I mean, I know that might seem shady or whatever, but did you notice that, man? Brothers is buying tickets, man, right now for the low low for trips like next year, the year after that. Just I didn't even notice that, to be honest with you. Bro, it's going down. Like so many niggas is buying tickets like crazy, bro. Really? Like niggas are sitting back like, look, um, I hope they get this corona situation, but let me buy my ticket to Brazil like for October right now. So niggas is worried about taking the trip to October, that, but they ain't worried about they paying their rent right now, right? Man, I don't know what the niggas <laughs> are doing, but well, I, I know for a fact uh, that like, 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 like even right now, like Johann I just came back from Johannesburg like three weeks. I was, I'm in Africa, right? But I was in Johannesburg for a minute. No, I was going to go. But here's the situation though, right? Like right now, you can't even go to John. Like you can't fly to into Johannesburg. But if you yeah. could, bro, the tickets it was cheap, bro. Really, it was cheap. Like how much we it talking was about? Dirt cheap. I mean, tickets in Africa is always like expensive, more expensive than you know what I mean than usual. But you could get into, you could get there for, you know what I'm saying. You could get there for, um. Like two hundred bucks. That's cheap here. You know what? Um, I forgot to even mention to you, man. Like Africa really crossed my mind in twenty twenty. I definitely wanted to check out Africa, but it's just, man, so much shit got in the way, man. This year, it's just this year was just a clusterfuck for everybody. Yeah, twenty twenty is. I want twenty twenty is away. shady. And it's shady to black people, bro. <laughs> it's fucked up for black man. people. Crazy. 2020 is shady, you know what mm. I'm saying? And um, let me let me go ahead and do this though. While I got I got shout out to my brother, the bitch. I look good. He don't yo he don't like Kim, man. Like he like a lot of niggas don't like Kim one on one. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, shout out to shout him out too, to man. Shout out to him too, man. I, I I hope that he gets the guidance that he needs. <laughs> well, Kim, yeah. Let me do this. Um, y'all, there is the Andrew two six one on one show. You know what I'm saying? Um, he got a really good channel. He had another channel, man. It had like almost 20,000. And then, you know, white man came and took it from my brother. But uh, go ahead and subscribe to him. And I know like um, the shout notifications. The white man, though. Yeah, white man held him back. Yeah, but out. I mean, let, let me ask you this, though, right? Because um, like you, 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 um, you actually are one of the brothers that went to the DR and then you actually, did you get married yet or? Nah, man. Nah. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Mm -mm. Not yet. All right. Not but yet. let's talk about that, right? Because you're one of the few guys that actually, you know what I'm saying? You talked about on your channel. You actually met somebody in the DR and then brought them back to the States. Mm -hmm. Brothers always talk about, man, don't bring them back to the States. Like, what would you say, man? Like, you know, as far as people like, like looking for something like long term, because you're probably the only person I know that's done that. But 
how has that been like situation and, and like should brothers consider doing that with the right person i'm gonna tell you this right now from my experience it's a big culture shock it's all about learning different cultures right because whoever you with rather you a man or a female right and you marry somebody that's from a different country, no matter where they are, mm-hmm. you got to understand that they're going to bring their cultures to your culture. Right. So you may not necessarily dig what they're doing. And that's when it becomes a clusterfuck, because then it's like, well, that person's used to doing this this way, but you don't like the way this person doing this way. So. In a way, it, you got to find some sort of climax to where you guys could compromise and one right. will give off one is one is willing to make one sacrifice and the other one is willing to make the other sacrifice but if right. y'all not willing to do the same thing together and y'all not working together as a unit it's not going to work out that's with any right. relationship though right well i mean but besides the culture though like um because you know what i'm saying do you think that all in all like because you're like the the the, the moral support for here is that stressful or do you find it like you know, you kind of got used to it. Man, it's like any relationship, man. <laughs> are, you ta- are you talking about the relationship aspect of it? Right. Um. Well, with, with the stress, are you, are you talking about like, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get what you mean, like. No, nah, I mean, like, because, you know, she like she doesn't have her family here. Her family's in the DR. And like, you're yeah. you're kind of her family here. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? The coolest thing is, is that I met her family and I'm cool with her family. We Skype all the time. So she's Skyping right. with her family. And I think right. every two to three months, she's always flying over there to right. go see her family. So, yeah, I mean, man, we straight, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Like, a lot of a lot of people always say, like, never bring someone to the States. You see that all the time. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that. I mean, what do you think about that, right? Because they're saying, like, oh, don't bring them to the tape. Don't bring them to the state. What up, Richie? Just leave them there. I mean, what what, what do you think about that? Okay, would you think the same way when you have a chick over here? Would you bring her inside? But she really give you the pussy though. You don't even know her. Oh, daddy hit me raw. I don't know. No, you ain't got one. <laughs> but y'all willing to do that though? Isn't that equivalent to the same thing? Oh, you taking risk, right? And a lot of brothers do this shit. Come on now. We want to hit. We want to feel that shit good, man. We ain't trying to. We ain't trying to wear no cap. <laughs> Shit. I mean, it's, it is what it is. So eventually, you know, you taking a risk with that. Just like you taking a risk with going overseas. Just like you taking a risk with everything. Look at what happened right now with the economy. For instance, we all right. had secure jobs, right? Right. And guess what? With a snap of the finger, ain't hey, nobody got work. Corona, Corona came through, boy. Corona came through, but we took a risk. Right. We lost everything when we thought we had something permanent. Right. Sometimes the things you have that's permanent may not last. Some things, sometimes the things you think won't last possibly will. Right. Okay. It's all about communication, man. Right. So that's with anything in life. That's with your parents. That's with your, your siblings. Right. You got to have uh, some sort of establish of communication because if you don't got it, it's going to be a world of confusion because she's going to think this way or he's going to think this way or she's going to think this way and he's going to think this way, depending on the situations that you're in. I'm not saying my shit is perfect. Shit, I argue with my lady all the fucking time. Sometimes I want to get someone to just throw it at her motherfucking ass. Man, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> and she's like, cabron! Nah, 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 nah. She starts cussing me out in Spanish and shit, ready to kick my motherfucking ass, boy. But I'm like, all right, that's cool. Then later on, we kiss up and we make up, man. We good. Right. We have a drink and we laugh about the shit. Okay. Shit happens, man. So let me ask you this, man, because a lot of the brothers that's travel bros that say, I'm not bringing them to the States, but I'm getting the better treatment over, uh, over in the DR Brazil. Would you say that those brothers are afraid of, you know, because like it seems like you was like, all right, look, I, I believe in myself so much. I'm bringing her over here and I know you can't take her from me. Right. Do you think that some of the guys that, you know, are afraid to bring a significant other over to the States, 
They don't want nobody to take their bitch. You know what I'm saying? They kind of they kind of jealous. They they kind of scared that somebody will knock their hoe or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Those are just insecure dudes, though, bro. Like I I don't I don't really focus on all that. Like my energy is so different, bro. Like it's I don't focus on that. You know what I'm saying? Because if I focus too much right. on that insecurities, if oh my god. My girl might end up taking, you know, what some people take my right? girl and shit. Yeah, like, what am I supposed to do? Okay, you you took my bitch. <laughs> All right, she's your responsibility. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Like, Why you playing? To, am I supposed to cry over this shit, nigga? No. Okay, guess what? You can take all the papers I done for her too. Guess what? She's all yours, motherfucker. I'm good. Wipe my hands clean, nigga. Right. I don't right. care. It's like any chick. If even if you have a chick over here, what are you supposed to do? Your chick is with you. You love her. She love you. And if, if she ends up doing some shit behind your back, you can't control it. Right. Okay? The only thing you gotta do is, all right, fuck it. I'm, I'm gonna cry. What I'm gonna cry for? I get mad. What am I get mad for? Go to jail. I'm gonna hit a bitch. What? For what? Right. I'm gonna lose everything. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, let me, like, let, me ask, let me let me ask you this, right? Let's say, for example, like okay, if if the income, if you had the income, right, and like like like, I mean, well, maybe let's say like an income that like you thought that would be sufficient, you know? Because I, I mean, at one time, you know, YouTube was a uh, lucrative, you know what I'm saying? Because you was on YouTube before me when it was like when it was cracking, you know what I'm saying? When when those money was good. Yeah, um, I remember them days. Yeah, man. I, man, I, I, man. I got a few of those checks in 2000 before I got oh, back. 2000, 2017 is when they changed the game. But before then, I, I was know. on YouTube in 2014, 2015, man. Uh, what what happened, Bro. man? What happened to YouTube, man? It used to be so popping back then. I know, it's man. Just, the, the white YouTuber fucked it up, bro. Yeah, he fucked it up, man. Damn. He used to be able to, people don't know, back in them days, he used to be able to get loot on YouTube. Like Those are the, those are the days where they had Sergeant Willie P. Remember Sergeant Willie P.? Yeah, man. <laughs> you can break. You can have breaking news, like do a yeah. video on a hot story, like drop it right away, not get demonetized. Yeah. There was no demonetization back then. Nah. You know what I'm saying? There's no demonetization now. It's like, you know, if you get a video demonetized, you got to have them review it. That take like thirty days. You might have a video do a hundred thousand views, and you only get two dollars off the video. Like now, YouTube is so much more difficult. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but. But let's say, for example, like, you know, you hit a lick or whatever and you ha- was able to, like, make the kind of money you, you know, you thought was cool in America. But you could live in DR. Would you mm-hmm. live if you had whatever salary it was, would you mm-hmm. live in DR and not America? No, nah, I wouldn't go to DR. Why? Because I see the way of living out there. And I'm, and this is no disrespect to my Dominicans out there, you know what I'm saying? But I see the way the country's living, and it's no different from any other countries out there, even my homeland, Jamaica, where most of my family's from. It's no different, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see the way the people are struggling out there. I mean, it's tough. So me personally, nah, I want to live out there. I'll definitely visit out there. But I want to live out there because, you know, my lady's family's out there. So, you know, that's part of my family, too. So mm-hmm. that's about it. I'll just go there to see family. But besides all that, I mean, listen, I've already I've had my fun in DR. I did what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody else. But but, you know, it is what it is, man. You conquer just like Christopher Columbus. Right. <laughs> you move on. OK, OK. Um, long live me... the trick. Hold on, hold on. He said, "Long live the tricking." Always more tricking. <laughs> Listen, let me let me say something about tricking, man. Because people need to get a better perspective of things. See, I never promote tricking. I've always talked about men who are looking for an option in dating. So people kind of get it a little bit twisted because they think I'm part of a like, oh, he's selling, you know tricks and shit you know what i mean like 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 it's an underground cereal and shit like it's it's got some shit in there that you know get you coked up and shit like you know what i mean it's like people trip out i'm like no i'm not talking about that i usually talk about dating options 
mm-hmm. for that. If you're having problems, here's all the solutions. And that could be anywhere. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, you know, whatever. Um, let me let me ask you this, man. Like, as far as you know, the other countries that you've been now, you haven't been to, you, you've never been to uh Colombia, right? Nah, 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 nah. I just had boys that been out there, you know what I'm saying? I have a all couple right. dudes that been out there, they kind of tell me how it is, but I don't know too much about it. Why, what's up? Nah, so you know, because a lot of brothers is um, you know. Let me let me put it like this. What uh because you've been to Costa Rica, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are Costa Rican chicks are, I mean, how are they? And I know you had a uh, you know, what's up, BMT? Is how's Costa Rica, bro? I, I, I listen, everybody's got the everybody's gonna have their opinions on what they think of Costa Rica. Cause like I could I could just give you my opinions on it. I mean, uh I wasn't really feeling San Jose. San Jose is the city that you land into. But if you really about that mongering experience, like you like to buy hoes and shit like that, then it's a spot for y'all. Trust me, they got hoes naked all over the fucking place. You know what I'm saying? Selling ass and coochie. <laughs> they got them, huh? They got them all over the place, man. But I'm just going to keep it 100. Like, I wasn't really just looking for that. Because that shit gets old after some time, man. I just wanted to walk around and want to take pictures at shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I want to see monuments and shit. Like I was so amused by like just seeing like, like uh, a fucking uh, Hilt, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Hilton Resort, and right. uh, looking like a castle and shit. Like I was just amused by that because I've never seen like hotels made out of castles. Shit was unique. Basically, out of castles, really. Well, it's like a castle, like a monument type of structure. Right. You know what I mean? And they'll have like a red carpet out, make it look like you're walking into like a king's castle. Like I've seen a Hilton like that. That shit looks badass. So um, you it, it, it's like you feel like you're, you're a king walking in a castle. But then on the right hand side, there's like a, you know, a, a receptionist and stuff like that. But it's just the way it's designed. You know what I mean? It looks right. more, uh, uh, you know sort of like a uh, roaming theatrical type of look, you know, like a castle, but it's pretty dope. Okay. 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 Let me do this here. Um, now for those people, let me do this. That's in the, uh, in the chat right now, go ahead and subscribe to our brother, man, Andre, Andrew. So basically you free tomorrow too, right? Yeah. 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 Course. Okay, we gotta start building, man. Me and Andrew shows be the hey, hottest, man. man. Like we we gotta re- get get back in the groove, man. Like hey. he he he, we be missing each other. But shout out to brother BMT. Um, you know what I'm saying we definitely gonna be building it up, man. I'm a, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back on my live streams. Hey Petra, Petra, no, she fine. Ooh, ooh, Petra, ooh, 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 she bad. He, she need to go ahead on and get. Oh, oh my shit. goodness, I'm gonna Let's see what she look like. She right there on the oh, screen. Oh, Petra's oh, fine. Yeah. Yeah, she bad. She need bad. to go ahead on and let me. Um, Damn. You sure she ain't mm-hmm. catfishing? No. No, she ain't catfishing. She need to go ahead on and let me. Let me uh, Yo, there's a lot of catfishing. Quarantine on that ass. Oh, uh, hey, hey, baby. Good to see you. I mean, I missed you. Uh, Mr. Mr. Always oh, talking shit. This nigga right here. <laughs> O'Shea looked like they walked on his face in that castle. Nigga, you always talking shit with your fucking yeah. mechanic t shirts and shit. Nigga, looking like you just got through changing some fucking brakes, nigga. <laughs> That nigga look, looking like he working outside a motherfucking Sears Automotive. Nigga, if you don't shut your motherfucking ass up all this time. That nigga, yeah, I'll just, he got that look. I'll just change that transmission. <laughs> nigga, Debo with his shit. I know I changed it. Look at him. Nigga, I know I'm the best motherfucking mechanic in this motherfucker. God damn it. I'm working in this motherfucking plant, nigga. Man, it should not like all these motherfucking. Nigga, I will, nigga, I will fix your motherfucking carburetor so fucking quick, nigga. <laughs> Bring me your fucking shit, nigga. I will fix your carburetor, nigga. <laughs> fix your engine, nigga. <laughs> I nigga got that look. Like, what the fuck this nigga looking at, man? <laughs> oh, nigga, shit, like he just got through nigga. just singing his eyes on the sparrows at church or shit. <laughs> Why must I feel this girl? <laughs> <laughs> 
And he watches over me. <laughs> I don't think like you just got up and started testifying, nigga. <laughs> nigga, oh, you shut your ass up talking to me, nigga. <laughs> I think you got a crush on you, son. Yeah, nigga, over there. You got the love letters. Yeah, nigga just got through fixing was... some fucking breaks, nigga. You got a... You got a um... Love letter. This is my confessions. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, that nigga, that nigga got that. That nigga got one of them Hispanic shirts. Nigga, no niggas wear no shirt like that. Look at this nigga. <laughs> nigga got one of the Fernando, one of the Fernando Valenzuela <laughs> autograph <laughs> package button up shirts on. What's up, Jr. Oh, for the future? Oh yeah, if I ever get some of that booty, if I ever get future booty, I'm not, I'm not gonna pull out. I'm telling you right now. You know who I feel sorry for, man? Who? My motherfucking weed smokers, man, who ain't got no motherfucking trees right now, man. I feel sorry for y'all. Wait, thing I know, I, so the, the, weed, the coronavirus fucked the weed up too? Man, it fucked everything up, bro. Man, the weed man can't come outside. That nigga got a court oh. tree shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's got true. Got court shit, man. Yeah, man. The weed, the weed might get evaporated or some shit. <laughs> that shit got to stay inside, bro. Audrey. I thought you meant why they can't find women in the U.S. with 300 million because y'all be wearing them dirty ass flip flops. I'm gonna tell you this one: American women do not give a fuck about what they look like in comparison to foreign women. Foreign women, I gotta say this: anybody that that been overseas know what I'm talking about. Foreign women give a fuck about their appearance. There they do. Chicks in the motherfucking states do not give a fuck about what they look like. Nah. Like, <laughs> chick will not even go out, nah. go to the store looking fucked up in like overseas, man. Chicks get chicks get dressed up to go to the store. My nigga. Chicks in America, man. Chicks in America be having dirty ass flip flops on, motherfucking nigga. pajama pants, rollers, nigga. Just be looking hella. Just oh my god, like overseas, yeah. I never see a chick. This nigga right here. Like in Poland <laughs> or no, nah, you never gonna see that, yeah. man. Chicks not gonna be dressed up. Chick the chicks just with them with, the, with them hey, shady ass right, flip flops. I, I see a size 12 trying to get in a size six, man. That shit is nasty though. You ever see those girls with them square asses and shit trying to get in? Yeah, yeah. I mean you gonna see that. You're gonna yeah, see that. Come on, man. That's everywhere. But in America, come yeah. on, man. They be out there looking just oh my goodness. You don't even ever get to see it. like okay, because see, see, you'll get fooled. The Sunday, ch- if you go to overseas, right? How how good a woman looks on Saturday or Sunday at the club? Typically, she gonna try to make herself up to look like that. Well, we know men look like shit all the time. That's that's. Yeah. But 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 ch- you, you in America is the only country in the world where you can meet a motherfucker on Saturday night and see them at the store on Sunday and be like, "Is that the same person?" America's the only country that does shit like that. Like, it could be two complete different... Mo- that shit don't happen in, like, Europe or in, like, Asia or e- even in, like... Um, well, Africa, I mean, you know. I mean, we leave Africa alone. But but <laughs> in America? America, yeah. chick will go to the club looking one way, and the next day at Walmart, you're like, oh, my God. What? Who? You you want to go up to her and tap her, be like, excuse me, um, who whooped your ass? Shit, you don't even want to ask her what her name is. Who just who whooped your ass? <laughs> Cause you like your ass guy. What what up, Josh? Yeah, man. I know Audrey. She be in there with them African sandals on, just just walking in hella rain. You uh, know, feet hella just. I, I know how y'all be doing. Y'all be having them flip flops. Got the fucking rainbow color hair shit. No, the flip flops, and they be hella. Only chicks in the states do this. The uh, dirty ass flip flops, hella black at the bottom. <laughs> they feet be hella dirty black. <laughs> feet prints, hella black. Old navy flip flops, dirty ass uh, shit. <laughs> clapping it up on aisle eight. Feet hella d- only in the states. They be in there looking fuck in the Chipotle, looking fucked up. Uh, Talking about, I need a real nigga. Shit. <laughs> What's the real you one? You need a real makeover. That's why I say about women, like even women in, the, in in Europe, they don't do that, man. You gotta, like, they don't wear them dirty ass flip flops. Only American chick wear them dirty ass flip flops with the flower in the middle. 
<laughs> they'll go to the mall looking like that. Women will not wear them dirty ass flip flops like in most countries over so they won't. Nah. I don't know, man. It's it's it's, it's different cultures. I know Audrey man. got some flip flops oh, on. I know. I, I, you go if you go in Audrey closet and you see them all that black <laughs> ass footprint and them fucking sandals, nigga. Oh shit. That's how you can really. That's how you can really see dollar, if they dollar, they dollar shave. General, general dollar general sandals and shit. Family if you dollar. see that dirt on them flip flops, that like, all that that them black footprints on them flip flops, leave. Baby diapers be costing two dollars. <laughs> look, 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 she said, but hey, in the USA, I see men on the weekend driving a Maserati and serving you drinks like crazy in the week, smelling like five days old diarrhea, long bears, oh, etc. Ouch. Oh, well, that's true, yeah. but shit, we got money, so that's that's different, you know. Yo, yo don't do y'all are the ones that gotta look good. good. I can yeah, go around looking old. like shit. I got money. Old spice, man. Give him some old spice, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I got money, money, so I can go around looking like like I ain't shit. Mm. Them women. Women be going around looking like shit for no reason. See, men, if men go around looking like shit, we already know we looking like. We know if we go out looking like shit, we already know. We ain't going to try to go talk to you or nothing yo, like that. Yo, Niggas... You know the craziest thing, though, O'Shea? When I look like shit, I get the baddest bitches. Oh, damn. It's crazy. When I look good, I don't. But when I go out looking like shit, I get yeah. bad bitches. I, does that ever happen to you? Well, I'm looking like shit all the time when I'm getting mad. Man. Oh, okay. Oh, you already know me. Yeah, I got you, bro. I'm out, I'm out here looking like an assistant pastor everywhere I go. Shit. Shady yeah. ass button up collar, dockers on. Hallelujah. I feel you, bro. Shit, I got to wear a hat because my shit receiving, my nigga. Remember I told you about the barbershop guy? Yeah, he fucked my oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I nigga. <laughs> yeah, that Corona face. That'd be $30. Nigga, what? <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> right. Yeah, no, nah, I know them flip flops. I'm gonna tell you what got me hating sandals. What got me hating sandals is American chicks. Y'all really? fucked the sandals up for me. When I saw when I came what? to Africa, I started hating their sandals. You know, like the Jesus pieces? No. Oh, no. man. Amer- Amer- and then they be dragging their fucking feet. Anybody in the black community understand this shit? Black women be dragging their fucking feet with them sandals. Just oh, shit. Sh- they doing construction work in this bed, bro. Construction feet. Zzz. Uh, O'Shea, you are about to make me believe African feet better. I'm not trying to say they know they both both of their feet fucked up. <laughs> both of their feet, it's it's not far. Trust <laughs> me. You might think it's better. It's it's close. It's close. Uh, American oh, chicks man. feet don't because they're in America. They they oh, feet man, be they hurt, feet nigga. Feet. American uh, women feet be fucked up. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> they be hurt. It's they not too hurt. far. They, Everywhere you know, hurt, African kick peak probably look a little better because they it's always hot, so they you know because don't be wearing yeah. them tight ass shoes like that. Yeah, yeah, I noticed um, that. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 more darker the women are, the better the feet look. That's just my opinion. When they like foreign yeah. and shit, yeah. I hate all sandals, bro. American black the black community got me hating sandals <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> when y'all be they be dragging their feet in the black shit. <laughs> You can hear them coming a mile away. Ugh. Construction workers in this bitch. Yeah. That shit crazy. But let me do this. So, so guys, man, we're going to try to have a panel. Are we going to try to have like a niggathon? I'm going to have a quarantine niggathon on my other channel. What's a quarantine? And, uh, I don't know if you want to get it on that. What's a quarantine? Basically, niggathon? my niggathons where we bring in all the black YouTube. And oh, uh, oh, that yeah. we come on a stream, it'd be popping. Like we just be talking hella shit for, and we just we just switch the panels up. Like we switch yeah. up different people at one time, so just hella people just come through. Yeah, fuck <clears> yeah, yeah. I typically have them on my other channel. I'm always nigga thonging up on my other. I haven't been doing it as of late, but I'm about to do it tomorrow because these niggas they like that, and it'd be niggas getting roasted on there. We be roasting uh, the people in the chat. Roast fest. Yeah, yeah. Niggas be getting cooked. I kick a whole bunch of niggas off. Then you know, uh, about to just have some fun with the shit. But um, yeah, man. But go ahead on and tell them, man, what they can expect from your channel, man. Um, you know, from this uh, year and all that. I do a lot of funny shit, a lot of truthful shit. I speak a lot of truth and I speak a lot of comedy at the same time. So I kind of do little sketches, make people laugh and stuff like that. And I also got a serious side to me, but I, I try not to really show too much of that. I try to get more 
in the comical, but I had a little bit of truth to a lot of things that I say, you know. So it's pretty dope. Let's check the channel out. All right. So all you brothers out there, man, make sure you guys subscribe, hit the bell. It is like six something in the morning. Um is six yeah, something in the morning over there in Africa? In Kampala, yeah, man. Oh kinda, shit. Damn. Like that's those are hours I'm keeping right now, bro. Like it's crazy, man. Gotta, man, you got work, man. Work. Salute to you, man. You doing your thing, bro. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta work. I gotta manage uh, this hey, situation. Yo, I just want to give a shout out. Let me give a shout out to you. yo. Shout out to Q, uh, QB Willie B, man. He be on my shit sometimes too, man. He was expecting my friend, you know, my my homeboy, oh. my sidekick, to come in. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Mr. Um, Mr. Agent. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't say his name. Yeah. I might get sued. Yeah, Kim, he be he be he be on them niggas that be uh Mr. BBC, Mr. BBC. Yo, that dude, man. Oh, brother, Mr. BBC. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's entertaining, as a motherfucker, bro. I actually like his shit when he says that. <laughs> I think it's just funny, bro. It is it's funny. Not... He he's funny though. He be trolling like Mr. BBC. <laughs> and he be trolling niggas, so that oh should be funny. God. Mr. Oh, oh Mr. Oh brother, oh brother, 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 oh my, my brother, Mr. BBC. Well, let me tell you something, brothers. Huh? The Black Cox is at it again. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. My God. Yo, yeah, yo. Oh my God. Yeah, yo. It's, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 I, I, I rolled a tape. Got a chance to go ahead on it. Uh, and argue with him and shit, but uh. <laughs> Oh yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on I, Cynthia G's channel bro, the other night. So really, I, you know what? I didn't even know who Cynthia G was until somebody. Really? Yeah, until somebody kind of put me on to her, and I was just like, "Oh shit, she really loves black men." Yeah, that's just really <laughs> sarcastic. You know, sarcasm. This Man. this woman really has problems with black men, bro. Bro, Is she what the black. Tommy, the, the the female Tommy Sotomayor or some shit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh fuck, man, she really yeah. don't like black men. What's up with that? Uh, she she be she be giving chat. She 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 got a vendetta. She gonna she be she be uh, huh. she be coming she be coming for niggas next though. Oh, she definitely I, do that. That's all right. I'll pass. I pass. <laughs> she be coming for niggas, uh, niggas oh, next. So, but anyways, oh, oh, so guys, make sure uh, I don't want that smoke. All right, I don't want none of that smoke. Go ahead. <laughs> nah, she ain't gonna be tripping on this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, make sure. Uh, what's the STD rate overseas, nigga? Go fucking Google it. What the fuck, nigga? We not no goddamn. Uh, we're at the World Health Organization, nigga. Get nigga, your ass on Google like the rest of us, nigga. Won't you take a flight over there and find out? Let me know. Yeah, this nigga keep asking, what's the STD rate over? Nigga, I don't fucking know. Man, <laughs> Google it, man. You niggas are lazy. That's why niggas, you, 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 you nigga got some muscles, nigga, but you ain't got no muscles in your brain, nigga. You dumbass nigga. <laughs> uh, yeah, my name is Al Aubrey. Uh, I want to know what the STD rate is in heaven. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm trying to find out uh, if I can take a, a trip over there on Corinthians Airlines. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to go there on the highway to heaven, uh, airline, brother. Uh, yeah, so, but uh, while you find that out, uh, I'm gonna be living these weights. I might be living these weights, nigga. You know, <laughs> about to bust put about 400 bitch. pounds on my back, brother. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, it's Al Aubrey, brother. Uh, uh, up and out. Uh, we up and out. I'm peace out. Peace out. Yeah, it's Al, Al in the building. Al in the building. That nigga hella dumb. Uh, what's the number of the nine one run, brother? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what would it be? Yeah, right? man, I would have been over there, but I, I tripped over Corda's phone, brother. So, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> I was trying to find a ticket to Corinthian Airlines, and uh, I was trying to go to heaven, but uh, the, the coronavirus, brother, the, it really slowed it up. Corona slowed up the one, the, the ticket to head to, to heaven, brother. So I would not. I tripped over my shit, brother. How? Hotel a la Shaza Bay, brother. Mm. Shaza Bay. Oh, oh, hold on. Yeah, I gotta get that Ramil versus Cynthia. Uh, uh, hold on, son of Israel, bro. Our Nick, y'all gotta email me. I got to um put up that Ramil versus um uh Ramil versus uh Simple to P. Show up. I took it down because it was hella incriminating evidence, nigga. That was <laughs> on that wow. stream play. I couldn't leave it up, but oh. 
Yeah, them niggas was talking about who had the most holes and who was a pimp and who wasn't the pimp. It shit was fun. It was it was crazy. It was so fun. these niggas was having gossip like swapping spit and shit. No, 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 no. Oh, it was actually it was actually it was actually it was actually, it was actually a good show, but oh okay, okay. You know, yeah, yeah, it was a good show. It was a good show. Niggas was just you know yeah. it, it it was a it was a good show. It was a good show, but yeah, uh, shout out to I gotta call Simple the pee back too, man. Now, it was anybody who heard that stream, man. That shit was funny, Bruh, <laughs> If you the first one to hit it that day, you probably won't catch nothing, nigga. If you don't go fix some fucking breaks, nigga, stop talking about nigga. <laughs> what the fuck do you know about bitches, nigga? What, what, all you know about is fucking carburetors, nigga. Oh yeah, 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 man. Your left, oh your left socket leaking, man. Your gasket blew out, brother. Your gasket, your left gasket, brother. <laughs> Mechanic of the year ass nigga. Oh shit. Nigga be coming home. Award and shit. On the dirty ass <laughs> sleeves and shit. What'd you say? I say you about to get a special award for the year, man. <laughs> yeah, me better shit up talking to me, nigga. I'll fuck around, roast his ass up. <laughs> nigga Debo, he, um, like, he look like he would beat your ass and then smile at you. Nigga, he can the, the mechanics be strong as fuck. Yeah, they got some big ass hands though, my nigga. Especially yeah. them old ass mechanics. You better not be fighting no fucking mechanic, nigga. All that, all them lugs and wrenches. Them motherfuckers be strong, nigga. I don't think they got them blue collar niggas. They go pow right there, man. You see that big ass handprint on the look, side. Look, of look, your I see if he can knock one of them. I see if he can knock one of them bullets out. Wow. Side yeah. of your eyes, shit. Hey, I can tell you one thing. You 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 can try to knock one of them bullets out, motherfucker. Let, let's see how you hit that, motherfucker. Hey, them plumbers got big hands too. Yeah, the motherfuckers be strong as fuck. <laughs> <Some> niggas, <laughs> they got a be, uh, change in tires and tighten up lugs and shit, nigga. Now, you want you fuck with no fucking mechanics, nigga? I wouldn't fuck with I them. Never, I got something for their ass. Bro, I would See, never fight a mechanic or a plumber in my hell life. Hell no. That's why they made guns for niggas like me. I ain't got time for you big ass niggas. <laughs> you can't even and kick I, them I'm, in a, I'm a small man myself. Shit. Anybody nah, tell me I, I'm nigga, I'm I'm a good size motherfucker. Don't don't trip. Them niggas will get a wrench and just throw it at you from like long distance <laughs> and knock your ass out. Motherfucker be sitting around lifting tires and motherfucking motherfucking bat, still in seats and shit. Hell Hold man. on, gangsta way. Oh shit, scary. I knock whoop your ass, nigga. Look at you. You like a little bitch. Soldier boy. Neon yeah. on, looking like a fucking uh, living I highlight. Pop, 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 you, 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 you. I know I can whoop your ass. Easy. You motherfucker. I know I can beat the shit out of you. I ain't worried about you, nigga. This nigga you a got punk. I know I can fuck you up. I'm just golden. I wouldn't even waste my time. I'll tell you to go get your sister or somebody like that. Yeah, Give no. me a challenge. <laughs> go get your mama, nigga. <laughs> nigga like you. What's up now, nigga? This is Gangsta Wayne, nigga. What's up, nigga? You want a nigga? You want to fight me, nigga? What's up, nigga? It's Gangsta Wayne, nigga. And I got my yellow shoes on, nigga. Got my yellow shoes on, nigga. That What's nigga look up, like you are. He look like he arches back and like do the back pedal and shit, try to hit you. <laughs> you know right. Ah! Look at Al RB. Oh, sure. okay. Why your knuckles look like you dug yeah, your way to freedom? Like <laughs> <laughs> LOL. Uh, nigga, uh, take your ass back to Googling. Nigga, Google that shit. Nigga took like 30 years to write that shit. Nigga, smiling. Yeah, he, about, okay. he about to do the Hulk Hogan and shit. Just rip his shit. Nigga had his girlfriend. Uh, hey, hey, bitch, come over here and write this motherfucker. Uh, uh, oh, shit, bitch. Write this to O'Shea, bitch. You know I can't spell. Bitch, come over here right now. You get rid of the phone. Bitch, hurry up for you in the stream, bitch. Shit. Write this to O'Shea, ho. I don't have motherfucking time, bitch. <laughs> Nigga, what, 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 what was the girl up? Bitch, get up right now, bitch. You ain't gotta go to work. It's coronavirus, bitch. Write this fucking jump to O'Shea. Uh-huh. Corona knocking at the door. Bitch, write it like this. Write O'Shea <laughs> Y yo knuckles look like you dug your way Two, free, dumb. Oh, freedom is one word, not two. Oh, oh okay. house boy. <laughs> that nigga's put freedom. F R E E D U M B, motherfucker. <laughs> freedom. That nigga want to woke his bitch up. All right, bitch, go to sleep, bitch. I love you. <clears throat> I really love you, bitch. <sighs> I love you, bitch. I really, I love you. I love you, bitch. Don't leave me, please. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. I know I'm abusive. <laughs> Stupid motherfucker. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh shit! All oh, you want to give me that booty? I already know because she be trolling me. I know she. Yeah, man, that. she front. Oh, uh, I think she will. Yeah, she, she want to give me some of that Nigerian booty. She has that 1997 uh 1.3 megapixel camera photo on there. Yeah, I see that. That what she looked like in 2000, motherfucker. Yeah. 2020, 2020. <laughs> that that shit motherfucker, is geriatric. Yeah, super old. What, what kind of struggle ass camera? That's the iPhone three. That's that Kodiak. 
Yeah, <laughs> like, she got oh, yeah. iPhone camera, nigga, before they had text messaging on it. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker, you right. <laughs> she got them. If you take a selfie, you get cancer kind of a camera on it, motherfucker. <laughs> right, exactly. You got to go to the Polaroid to get it made out. Hold on. I took a picture, but I got to go to Polaroid and um, they'll have them back in about five weeks. <laughs> This motherfucker got a, a, a negative 1.3. This motherfucker is this uh <laughs> nigga nigga, how you have that struggle ass megapixel nigga? With this you took this when YouTube first started, huh? Hey. Yeah, so this is my 2004 modeling uh photo. Hey, well, hey, well, this special right there. <laughs> At the time I was 18. Now Damn, I'm 45. Man. Damn. He said they got that Kiro Zero cell phone. <laughs> you took this shit when Sonny Abacha was still president of Nigeria, motherfucker. Oh shit. And it had about 15 presidents and none since Sonny Abacha died, nigga. Mm-hmm. All right, but shit, man. I'm about to get up out of here, bro. Anything else you want to sell them people, brother? Hey man. Nothing much, man. Just stay corona free, yo. That's it. Stay your ass inside. Tired of y'all dirty ass niggas spreading the shit. I'm trying to go to work. That's it. Hold on, let, let me let me see where Audrey at. That nigga, this nigga, this nigga self quarantining at the Corona Hospital. I'm gonna be safe. So <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and work out where the niggas is right here. I'm gonna be safe from this shit. Fuck that. All in the Corona. That nigga dumb man. I could tell he dumb. <laughs> Dipping and diving in that Corona shit. Yeah, I nigga they just. <laughs> Man. That nigga like a that nigga hella stupid. You can always tell like a lot of buff niggas be stupid, man. Like I'm like, God damn, nigga, what? nigga. This nigga look like Grant Hill on steroids and shit. No, he just a dummy. He can't help. That nigga's got hella push ups and shit. Oh, Grant Hill, look at that. Mm-hmm. That nigga be using hella emojis when he be texting. Let's just say, stay stay golden, stay golden. He be using hella thumbs up, thumbs down and shit. Uh, hella smiley faces and shit. So you ain't got a spell. You niggas ain't <laughs> you niggas ain't fooling nobody with your dumb ass. All right, all right, family. Peace out, man. Shout out to Andrew man. for coming on. We're going to do it again tomorrow. Hopefully, tell me something tomorrow on, on the Niggathon, brother. Yeah, I'm going to definitely be there. All right, peace. Peace out.